Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Wickersley Angling Centre. Um, today I'm going to do a little talk on, um, as I say, we, we, within the shop we get a lot of great anglers who come in our shop so we can always have a bit of a chat about different things and way we all do things different but end up with the same product. So while I got to TP with me the other day I thought we'll uh, do a debate on this one while we're at it because um, I get asked and I, and I can't work it out myself um, as I say I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm right on the fence with this one and it's uh, chop worms right yeah uh, I love fishing with worms yeah 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 do, we do a lot of it yeah I up until I come started back fishing six or seven years ago I never fished with worms. No, it, it, it was it wasn't that massive a part of fishing the, when I packed yeah. in. But the circuit that me and you fish now, I mean, worms are a massive part it's, of our that's fishing. That's all you need, you know, isn't it? On, on canal, south field, and yeah. places like that. It, it's all you, it's, you don't need to take another no, bait, really. No, really. In it, lots of it. Ba yeah. Basically, you want uh, some dendras, which we usually chop up and, and feed, and then you want some red worms, don't you? Which is a great a great question. Why do we put red worms on with, with dendras, uh, and why, why don't you use a little dendra? And, uh, and sometimes you do, sometimes it's better with a little dendra than it is a red worm. But someday you can't get a bite on a red worm it's, and you can only get a bite on a dendra yeah. and vice versa. Vice versa, that's um, right. So, so if you've got both, you, I mean I have both, I mean I go to South and I catch all, nearly all my fish on a red worm. Yeah. I, I don't know why because I'm putting dendras in. Yeah. yeah, but you can't get a bite sometimes on a weird. dendra. So, so it's just trial and error. So it, the, the question it, it, it just keep the in, an answer and no, you can just really keep not. getting Every day is different. Every day is different, isn't it? But uh, one of the things I always struggle, or not struggle with, because I I do it now my way, and I and I and I like this. But we were out, we were talking the other day in shop about worms, and you just we, and I asked you your opinion on 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 when we chop worms up. How do you feed them? Do you do you yeah. feed, do you feed them in the juices? Well, we've got first of all we, when you cut them up, right. I mean, you introduced me to these scissors. Yeah. And I used to use just one, what I used to use is just one pair and cut them up. And you said to me, you need to try them. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe how good they are. The, I know it's just a pair of uh, double scissors, but. But the, the, in, the is it? The, the something about them, what's completely the, there different. There is, they're just awesome. It takes like a few seconds. And I mean, they're just w with the money on their own. They're just fantastic. Yeah. They're, they're brilliant, aren't they? Um, and they are made by Cresta, but the, I used to use one of them, if I were going to Southfield sometimes, because sometimes you can use half a kilo or, or yeah. more. So I used to use one of them uh, food blender choppers. All right, yeah. But the, you have to be careful with your fingers yeah, with yeah, blades. Yeah. Uh, they are very they are very good, and if you're doing a lot at once, they are good, but they are quite dangerous as well. You, you can end up with cuts and that all over. But since I got a pair of these, I never ever no, use no. them. You don't need to. That's all I use them. They, they, they do them so quickly, yeah. it's untrue, isn't it? Yeah. So but my question one with him is, when you're feeding with worms, do you feed, how do you feed them? Do you strain them? Do you wash them off? Do you, feed, do you put them in juices? Because there's it, loads of different and, ways and, in there. And there is, and it is a great question nowadays, because I see lots of anglers and they have these strainers. We've got one there, haven't we? Yeah, it? that's no, mine. So that's what I that, use. Is it? So a lot of, what they do, they put the worms on there and strain all the juice out. So all you do is you chop your worms in your tub, and you put them in there and all the juice goes through. So basically what you're not doing, when you put it in ground bait, you're not making your ground bait too soggy and everything like that, which is actually see the juices going through there. What a load of rubbish. Why Honestly, absolutely. I want the juices in my ground bait. You're fishing worms, you're chopping worms up. Why wouldn't you want the juices to encourage the fish to come in and eat your worm? What I mean is, Usually you're fishing a ground bait that the fish come in and eat, and, and, and lots of places now it's a fish meal or a pellet based ground bait. So you want the product in the ground bait that's on your hook. That's the best bit for me. Yeah, but it just makes all your ground bait well, dry, shit make, and horrible. Well, make it a bit, a bit soft, a bit drier. drier, so you can add that in. And that's what I do, I make it, for me, I just want to put that in than that. No. So, uh, it's, for me, it's just a load of rubbish. I'm like, when I see them using these, I, don't get me wrong, it's a lovely product, it's beautiful. And uh, lots of anglers, like you, prefer to do it that way. Yeah. I don't. See, I, I, I was talking to an angler the other week, and he, he, what he told, because I asked him the same question. Yeah. After, and this is what brought me on to asking yeah. you as well, is because he, he takes it to the next level then, 
Once he's chopped them like that and strained them, he washes them off in water. Really? So, wow. so then Gosh, there's nothing in that at all. Really? He, wow. he completely washes them off. So basically, he's just feeding skins. Or wow. Because obviously then, when you do that, there's going to be, you, you're taking all the flavour yeah, in yeah. there. I've seen lots of anglers using it. And, and don't get me wrong, right, one of the things, the, the product is brilliant, and it's making it easy if you don't like the juices in your ground bait. And one of the things that, you know, I'm a big believer in, you'll find your own way of fishing and doing things, mm. right? And if you're happy doing that, I'm not. I want them in my bait because I want... I don't want the fish coming and eating me ground bait. I want the ground bait to be an attractor to draw the fish in. But I need them to be picking the, the worms and everything out. But I want the ground bait to turn them on to eating worms. Right. So I want that in my ground bait. So if I'm putting the juices in, which which I think are really, really important, then I make my ground bait just a, just a little bit drier so that when I put that in, it's mixing it. I've got them juices coming through as it's coming through the water to attract the fish in. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but I'm saying it's what I do and I mm. prefer that. But yeah, no, I, I, don't... I, I think it's a good question yes. because it is. It, you can talk about this for hours, couldn't you? Hours and it's like all baits. I, and I mean, there's times I, when I do my ground bait, I'll pick the, the juices out, right, out of, of the chop worm and, and put my fingers in and put it on top of the feeder. Right. To, to add more uh, worm juice into the feed. So you're making like a glug then? Almost, with, yeah. Almost, almost, almost putting like, like yeah. a, a goo thing well, on well, well, last year, when, uh, I won a series on uh, uh, on the uh, Aaron Calder Canal, mm -hmm. the, uh, to, the Win Win Tech. League at yeah. Grey Tech. And it took me about three sessions. I started catching these skimmers and these bream. And my feeder, it, were only ju it was that full of juice, right? It were only just holding together. Right, and I couldn't catch these fish till I did that. And I, sometimes I was casting it, and it came out in mid air. It was that tight, sloppy. it was that sloppy. So what, what texture like is that then? Like on. a pot oh. of beef, like a paste? No, it, it's not a paste, but I, I, I get your point. Where you say where it, it was just holding in, in, in feeder, and I had to mix it in me. I was actually adding the juice to me ground bait, and I was mixing it and pouring it in. Right, and the, they loved it because if you think about it, going through the water, there's little bits coming off. And the it's all there for the and I got them on the drop, mm -hmm. cast it out like so. I, I I got the vision that the fish was swimming into the juices coming through. Right. And and, and sometimes you chucked in like they hit the bottom and it were round and they actually took it immediately. Followed it down. And followed it down. They followed that stream. But until I did that, I couldn't catch them. And so it were only the juices that worked, in my opinion. It wasn't the uh, the worms. Right. And I was chopping up as fine as I could to get more juices in. You're right. And and. And that, that, so to me, the juices are as, are as, as important, important yeah, as, to me, as, yeah. as the bait. Yeah. So, um, but, but I also understand why sometimes it's that, but I think most of the time it's the juices I want in my ground bait. See, now what I started doing myself when I'm, when I'm fishing is, when the shout time and I'm going to put half a dozen feeder fulls in or whatever, I just do that. Right. To strain it off. Yeah. Um, so obviously when I'm putting like big amounts in or whatever at beginning of match, it's going in basically dry, yeah, and not making my ground bait right, go okay. to mush. Yeah, yeah. So then, when I next chop my next lot up, I started doing a bit more. A bit, I, bit more I, I'm doing a bit of both. I'll chop them up and leave them in the pot, so I can start feeding them with the juices in. Right. And then sometimes you, I'm trying it without juices right. again and just putting them yeah, in but, neat. But that's what you should be doing because yeah, because you, you, that's called swim management. Yeah. Right. And that's what you're trying to do is work it out for yourself. And, and on the day, uh, again. And, and sometimes it's like that. But, you know, for me, I mean, for me, like, uh, uh, chop work, chop, the juice from chop worms are really important uh, because I think that's the attractor that brings the fish into your pay. Yeah, and then you say, say you yeah. see loads of so, anglers who actually wash. I know, Once they've chopped them like that, they actually wash all that off. This should save juice for me and give it juice. <laughs> <laughs> Right, when you're chopping your worms then, right. what's uh, what's your thoughts on, um, do you have them, do you take them straight out of a tub? I, I riddle them. And ah, I, dear. Yeah, I just, I riddle all the soil off, uh, and then what I do, I have a... You have them like that then? So, yeah, that's yes. your worms as you get them from shop. Yeah. Now, this this is something that I do as well, um, um, before I go fishing, is, if you look at them two tubs there, that's got worms in it, that one. It's just, and I, I tub a lot of worms up for shop and what have you anyway, but that's how you buy them from shop, is in muck like that, and they've got 
Brick, so um, I, I, I try and call that air, but I can't. Neither is can. <laughs> and bits of bark and twigs and everything. But what I do when I get home is I sieve all my, gra all my soil off first. So the soil is all, or the muck, is all nice and fine like that. Then what I do is the clump of worms, what I get, I chuck them then onto a big riddle. So all the big lumps then yeah, stop, stop on, on top. top. So when I'm fishing, when I'm back on bank then when you're fishing, when you pick some worms out, basically you can either wash them before, yeah. wash the muck off, or just leave them in your tub like that. And you can get, the, the muck will start to ball up on the sides yeah. because the worms get a little bit wet. Thanks. So when you pick them out, they are basically Thanks. spotlessly clean. Yeah. That is important, isn't it? That, that's that, that's that, the best way of doing it. That is the best that, way. And the Be quickest. Because when you try, if you just pick them straight out of there now like that, and, and you're going to put them into your pot for, for chopping, A, you don't get none of them juices as such because it all yeah, gets it, mingled in with yeah. muck. But half of the time then you ruin your scissors because yeah. you're not actually chopping worms, you're trying to chop wood up and bark up. And, and they all block up all the scissors. And they block all the scissors yeah. up. So yeah. that is quite a good point. Yeah. The only time, the only time I change, change that a little bit is, a, is if I'm fishing for perch and they want a bit of black, a bit of cloud, right. and I might I might leave that a bit of soil in and chop it up with the soil in. Right. So, so that some juices go into the soil but only for perch, it doesn't seem to work for anything else. So if I'm perch fishing inside of something, I'll leave a bit of soil and chop it up. And just make it, uh, uh, so it makes it. a bit of a, a cloud. Uh, like, like the old style where we used to have a black cloud where yeah. you repeat and things yeah. like that. Sloppy but, ground. But that's, uh, basically, apart from that, I do, all, I do all the same. I use a pole cup. One of the reasons for a pole cup, your scissors get in the corners and, and it makes it easy to chop everything yeah, up. Well, I, 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 when I'm on bank, I've done it with that pole cup because uh, obviously it's got a flat surface so I can put it down, but I use a pole cup which what's got a round, yeah, round one. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. when you're chopping them up then, it goes into it, that's right. The, all the worms keep folding back on the cell so that's you can right. chop them. Yeah. Whereas with flat bottoms or square tubs when you're chopping worms, worms get into corners so you end up with bigger lumps, yeah. um, which we don't want. Twice. And you've got to end up start trying to cut them. So if you use a pole pot, we a rounded bottom. When you chuck your worms in it and you chop yeah. them, when you're chopping them, they all keep folding back on themselves. Yeah. So you can mit and it takes milliseconds it to does, do them, yeah. it? it? Especially with a good pair of scissors if, if and clean them off like that. You'll clean them off and you get a round bottom pot and you do that, you've only got to cut them once and not two or three times. Yeah. And uh, we nearly agree on some of there, you know. Do you think? Yeah, very close. But uh, I thought we'd have a bit more of an argument. I thought you'd no. be. I thought you were going to say. No, no. I get them out no. of pot like that and I chop. No, 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 no. Because not with worms, it's quite important. Because um, the other, the other, the other day I was talking with Andy Renton, and uh, he were on about we were on about fishing, and we got on about good anglers and this that, and other and. He, and, and Andy always, up until two years ago when we started our Wednesday league at Allcroft, um, you took me and Andy for a day yeah. of method fishing, yeah. and he's always says to me, "I'll, because you win all money every time you go fishing anyway." But he'll go, he's not telling you everything. Al, when he goes, I said, "Andy, Tommy never does not tell me how he's fishing." I says, "If he's pouring rocking horse manure in, he'd tell me." I says, he don't hold old back. No, he don't. He's, he's holding something back. I said, he, I says, he's the simplest angler in the world with your kit yeah, and, yeah, and everything, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, I believe I am, yeah. Because it's, it's no to do with your kit, is it? No, no. It's to do with your swim management it, or watercraft. Kit, kit, kit of, of knowing watercraft, what's, yeah. we, we what's happening underwater, not what's on bank, because we, we know all the, we know anglers what are uh, tackle tarts and what have you, but that's another story. <laughs> but he, he never, he never realised how simple at fishing you were because yeah. we went fishing that day and uh, you were showing us out the importance of doing your pellets and mixing ground baits and blah de blah and, and you got a bag of ground bait uh, and it was uh, I don't know some some crushed crushed expander or whatever it was and I put bag with bitten open and chucked it back in your van and it was mouldy and you just mixed it up <laughs> and he went <laughs> and I saw it I I looked at him. And I looked at you, you just carried on as though no had happened. I, I just laughed because I knew what you were going to do. And he was gobsmacked. That's a new flavour, that mould, you know. <laughs> and, and, he, and he went, afterwards, he went, Do you see what he did today? I went, I told you, Dan. I said, He's the most uncomplicated angler yeah. on bank there yeah. is. I said, If he just says, 
I mix it up and chuck it in. He basically yeah. mixes it up yeah. and chucks it in. Well, you'll know me better than anybody. But, and, and like, there's no fairies in my head. It's either works or it doesn't. No, and uh, he, he, so he now says it's all down to pheromones. <laughs> He says, he's got pheromones, he's got, he's got women's pheromones though, when he goes fishing, fish all just come attracted <laughs> to him. <laughs> but I think that has covered a few yeah. points with worms, because yeah. yeah. I'm still not, as I say, nowadays, trust me, don't, I, I mean, lots of people might think you just get a bag of worms, chop them, but you don't. Yeah, we, no, we, there's, there's different ways. It's quite an art, in, yeah. in how to prepare them and how to do them. Yeah. And, but, but that, to, I mean, most of that is what, what we do. It's standard, but, isn't it? A lot of people... Uh, don't like the juice and that's fair enough but I do I think it's very very important mm. and and some days uh, I, I put I try to get more juice in to make it more sloppy I want it in the water to attract I want it as a fish attracted in the right. peg and especially if I've got worm on the hook why wouldn't you want you know more worm attractors to attract them to your hook bait I, you know, I know, I know. that's the only way I think right but uh, I think that's covered most things now yeah. on worms, hasn't yeah. it? I think so. Bloody hell, we haven't even had an argument. No, no, Can't I believe, believe that. I know, that's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs>